Okay, so I got a question. I've been going a little back and forth with a gentleman on my flat cap video, and he had asked about resizing an ivy cap. Now, an ivy cap, as opposed to like the flat caps that I normally make, are a little different. It's this one panel style here. This is just a production one. I didn't make this. Most of them are sized with the seam along the back, as you see, and it runs up kind of to the crown of the head. And they kind of smooth out like that. Now he figured out how to resize his, which was good, but he was having a problem with this peak up here being sharp. And I've just thrown together a little bit of a sample here. When you run a seam, it'll kind of get like that. And what that is, this is even a curved seam, as you can see. It's just got a slight curve to it, and as you see, I sew along right along the edge of it. And unfortunately, when it comes out like this, it has this peak. And if you were to iron it out and really flatten that seam out, it's even more pronounced. It gets really sharp. Well, the way to smooth it out more like this side here, you see there's less of a peak. And I, I just did this real quick as an example just to kind of demonstrate it. You kind of have to run the seam up in a curve. So you have more fabric here than you do down here in this allowance here. There's more here. In this case, what I did was I ran one stitch showing if you had stitched it this way and it had come out with that sharp peak just where you'd kind of run the second stitch from it and just a gentle curve up towards the peak. And that'll give it a smoother, more rounded appearance. And on top of that, you can also just iron out that seam a little bit just to flatten it out even more once you get that kind of smoothed out and rounded over and that's basically the way you'd fix that i was going to draw it onto some pictures he sent me of it but uh it was just easier to kind of show this again you know you can see wrong side here you go this is hand stitch so the other side isn't going to show it as well but as you can see there's just that extra little seam or a uh, stitch line that goes up to the peak and it kind of blends with the old stitch and up to the top where it would fold and that just kind of rounds it over even more and that's what you're trying to do to get rid of that point so when you're resizing an ivy um, like this one fits me just fine but if it were too small you just rip this seam down here with the seam ripper and use whatever seam allowance is in there to spread it out however much you need it spread and then um, if you needed it smaller uh, same thing rip it and you fold you would actually bring in you can see these uh, kind of holding stitches here usually these hold tape these stitches on the side um, and you just uh, bring it in closer to make it a tighter fit but almost in either case when you do that you're gonna get that point up on the top near the crown the back of the crown and that's exactly how you smooth it out is you just kind of blend it more and round it instead of just following the edge of the fabric or making a straight stitch that's exactly how that would be done hope that answers the question